Meh. Sir, if you could please fasten your seatbelt. Oh, no, I'm good, thank you. I have a doctor's note that says I can't wear a seatbelt, so... Yeah. Sir, please return to your seat. Yeah, you got it. Flying through turbulence can be a very humbling experience. Since you can't always predict when you might encounter turbulence, it's important for pilots to know what can cause it. So let's answer today's question. What is turbulence? Turbulence can largely be described as the irregular movement of air that can negatively impact an otherwise smooth flight. We've all experienced some level of turbulence, whether you're sitting in business class, or in the flight deck. The intensity of turbulence can be split into four levels, light, moderate, severe, and extreme. Light turbulence causes a slight change in altitude or attitude. Passengers may experience a few bumps here and there, but not enough to make a good flight go bad. Moderate turbulence is a little bit more noticeable. If you have any loose items laying around, you might want to strap them down. Severe turbulence involves a large and dramatic change in altitude or attitude. At this intensity, control of the airplane could be lost momentarily. Extreme turbulence is even worse, as it could cause structural damage. Fortunately, injuries or deaths caused by turbulence are extremely rare. According to the FAA, in 2018 only 9 people were injured by turbulence during flight. Another, albeit less intense variety of turbulence, is known as CHOP. CHOP is typically experienced as a rapid, rhythmic bumpiness. But Jeremy, you may ask, where does turbulence come from? And I'd say, cats! Okay, not cats plural, but cat, as in clear air turbulence. This type of turbulence occurs above 15,000 feet and can happen without any visual indications. Thermal or convective turbulence is caused by columns of warm air rushing up underneath the aircraft. This type can be found closer to ground level where surface temperatures can vary wildly. Wake vortex turbulence is generated by every aircraft in flight. For airplanes, a pair of counter-rotating vortices extend beyond the wingtips, which can negatively impact any trailing aircraft. Mechanical turbulence is defined as airflow interrupted by terrain or man-made objects, such as tall buildings. The air above mountains could be especially turbulent due to a combination of changing air pressure, temperature, wind speed, and direction. Frontal turbulence is similar to thermal turbulence in that it's caused by the lifting of warm air. However, this type concerns the sudden shift between cold and warm air fronts. Lastly, we have wind shear turbulence. This involves a sudden change in wind direction, horizontally or vertically. These can often be brought on by incoming storm systems. Now that we're familiar with turbulence, whether you're a pilot or passenger, remember to fly safe and fly often, and wear your seatbelt. Do you have a question for flying? Tweet us at Flying Magazine using the hashtag FlyingExplained, or email us at explained at flying.media.